Thanks so much for joining us today and the latest video in our Unlocking Growth video series. I had my absolute pleasure to be joined by Pascal from Super Rewards, one of the most exciting partners out there at the moment. Thanks for joining us, Pascal. Thanks so much for having me, Sarah. We're really, really excited to have you here today to learn more about Super and Super Rewards. And um, I believe you've got some um, some nice slides to show us. Would you Would you mind by starting, I guess, just telling us a little bit more about Super Awards and, and who you are? Sure. So Super Awards is a shopping platform where you earn uh, cash awards into your existing superannuation fund or self-managed superannuation fund. So it couldn't be simpler. You come to the, shop, uh, to the platform, you choose from over 200 of Australia's leading retailers, and then you shop with them online as you would normally. Now, those retailers are very generous. They pay you anywhere between two and 10% uh, cashback for shopping with them. So the average cashback on the platform is 5%. Super Rewards is free to join. And the way that we work is we share the commissions from the retailers uh, with the user. Uh, last but certainly not least, and this is a really important point, it's because we are looking after people's money, we are regulated uh, under an Australian financial services license. And I, I think, um, you know, you've, you've mentioned to me before a little bit about the story of, of Super Roads and, and where you came from, and I'd love you to, to share that. Yeah, absolutely. So um, what a lot of people don't realise is that we have a really big problem in Australia, and it is called the gender super gap. Now, what this means is that women are retiring currently with only enough for six years uh, of retirement, but they live another 14 years after that. Now, the reasons why the gender super gap exists are, um, are many and they are complex, but it's fair to say that this is not a problem that we're heading towards. This is a, a crisis that we are very much in. And I'll share some statistics uh, around that for you. So the fastest growing demographic of homeless people in Australia is actually the older woman. Um, 65 year old women are retire with no super and that, that applies to about half of wow. those 65 year olds. And just for even broader context, roughly one in six women in Australia retires into poverty. So this is not a, as I said, it's not a crisis we're heading towards. We are in it. Um, yeah. But part of the challenge is that not a lot of people know about it. So this is, this is the very real uh, and, you know, great problem for 51% of Australia's population. Yeah. And if we think about the, why it is that we are here, um, there's a really vital statistic, and that is the shape of the workforce. So if we think about the 7 million women in Australia aged 18 to 64, so they're in that, that mode of, you know, building in, um, and saving for retirement, there's a whopping great big 40% of that number who are not in the workforce. And to really spell it out, when you're not in the workforce, you're not earning income, when you're not earning income, you're not earning superannuation. Now there's another 36% who are working part-time or casually. So either contributing fractionally to their super or not at all. And now this is the wicked problem. So if your you know, industry and government like to say, women need to be better financially educated so that they can top up their super. Now, I have no problem with the first part of that sentence. We all need to be better financially educated. But the question is how? If you're not in the workforce, you're not earning money, or if you're working part-time casually and therefore have limited access to spare money, how exactly are you supposed to top up your super so that you will have enough to, to live on in your retirement? So what does this mean? It means that women are essentially stuck. They don't have money to top up their super. They're priced out of the workforce because of the cost of childcare. And there's a, a large component of social constraints at play here in Australia. So where it, it is expected for a large proportion of our population that they will look after the children, that they will look after the elderly and that they, they will look after community and that they will do all this for free. Now, you may recall from the previous slide that only 24% of women are in full-time work. How do, how do we stack up internationally? Well, if we think about the US, 
48% of women are in full-time work. So certainly there is a very strong cultural element at play here. It's quite, quite a big difference. It's a huge Thank difference. goodness you're here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. So, so, so what do we do for these poor women? You know, they're, they're, they're stuck. Um, they're, they've got all this responsibility and family, you know, caring for others and, and so on. But yet they also make 80% of household shopping decisions. So Super Rewards really brings those things together, those two elements. And through shopping on Super Rewards, these women can now effectively generate uh, money from you know, shopping with the retailers into their superannuation. So they're now being rewarded or, or being paid, if you want to think of it like that, for, for their doing what they have to do anyway. Mm. Now, the, the other huge challenge with the superannuation industry is that it's, you know, apart from the fact that none of us really like to think about it all that much, <laughs> is the fact that it is so complex. Okay, so, uh, you know, the industry has done a great job of making uh, superannuation very difficult to think about. So when we were building the, the platform, we really set out to make sure it was as seamless as possible and as e-commerce as possible, because we just wanted this to be so easy. So the process of registering uh, on Super Awards takes two minutes and to connect to your super fund, or your, uh, really, you just need to give us two details. Once you've given us those two details, then we take care of the rest. So it is very much set and forget. Oh. It's, um, it's really impressive. And I mean, it's also a little nerve wracking, some of those numbers that you presented. Yeah. Um, it's, it's sort of one of those things I think we kind of know is there, but we don't always think about. So it's, it's great to see you really focusing in on that education piece for consumers as well. I think, um, you know, I guess moving to the brand side now, like how how does Super Rewards best work with brands? And you know, of, of those consumers that you do now have, like how are you helping to use those to unlock growth for the brands you work with? Yeah, absolutely. So um, maybe before I answer your question directly, I'll just give a little bit more context, and that is that we we filled a gap in the market where, as far as a, a direct consumer was was concerned. Uh, there was no other platform doing what we were doing uh, in, you know, and being regulated the way that we're regulated. However, we have also filled a gap for the super industry. You know, they've been struggling with engagement since the advent of superannuation. You know, I, I mentioned before. Can understand that. that. It, it's incredibly complex. And they, you know, how do we get people interested in their super? So um, we are now licensing our technology into super funds. So what that means is that this gives us access to tens, if not hundreds of thousands of users. So we filled gaps in two directions, both for the consumer and both for the industry, which is great. Um, in terms of, um, our, I guess, the profile of, of our consumer, if, if you know, um, we're thinking about that in the context of working with brands, there are, there are three traits that we have, or characteristics that we've observed, remembering that we've only been uh, up and running and operational for eight full months. Uh, the, the first is this, um, we have very sticky customers. So what we're seeing is that they are really persistent. They, they shop and they come back and they come back and they come back and they stay with us because guess what? It's free money from shopping into their super. Um, the second thing we've observed is um, the, uh, the frequency of purchase. So for the first three months, people might shop with us let's say, you know, two or three times a month. Then there's a step change uh, where it becomes five or six times a month. And the reason for that step change is because by now they've started seeing the first payment come into their superannuation. Mm -hmm. So they're reassured, oh, okay, right, this the system works. Okay, I, I get it. now. And then uh, towards the seven and eighth month, they're now shopping, let's say, 10 times a month with us. And just remember that this is all online. It's all on. And the reason for that second step change, we believe, is because of the two lovely numbers on your Super Rewards dashboard, where you're seeing your rewards that you accrue increase and the payments that we make into your Super Fund increase. So by now it's a habit and it's become you know, a, a virtuous circle. So that's the second point is that, um, you know, we, we see high frequency purchasing. The third point I'd like to make on, on our, our users is that our, um, if we think about particularly our, our top 50 users, 
there's a real, uh, there's an unbelievable rate of uh, volume of spend. So the weekly um, spend in a household, according to ABS data, is $844. Our, our top 50 um, are spending $760 wow. a month, and that's just online. So that is a huge amount, um, given that we are only playing in the online space at this point. But watch out for in-store, coming soon. <laughs> no, I, that's, that's incredible. And I think, you know, what you just listed there, it's, it's the ideal customer that we all want, right? It's, um, it's someone who's going to be loyal and, and repeat shop and, you know, continue to, to drive more. So I, I think I, I'm really personally excited to see sort of what comes next and, and where we go from here. Thank you. Thank you, Pascal, so much for joining us and for sharing the super award story um, and have a fantastic day.